Hi everyone, Patty the Quiet Sister here. Welcome back to my channel. For today's project, we are doing alcohol inks in a little bit of a different way. I learned this from watching Lydia from Understand Blue. We are using Recollections uh, pastel foil cardstock. We are using Spellbinders tile reflection embossing folder. We are using a really, really old Sizzix embossing folder. We are using the Sizzix 3D Texture uh, Fades Botanical, the Simon Says Stamps Blossom Field, and the Simon Says Stamp Picnic Floral. So I chose my different colors of foil and I used the embossing folders. I have those laid out for you. Um, I'm a little nervous about the one with the paisley design or the paramecium's as my husband likes to call them. Uh, but I did, it did, everything worked out fine. It just wasn't as deep. So I used the gesso, I just used folk art gesso, and I coated everything with it. I just squirted a bunch on my mat and then used that foam brush and painted over it. So to get started, um, I, I used Pinata and Ranger alcohol inks. So the Pinata is thicker and it is um, a little more opaque. So it's not, it's very different than using the Ranger. It's still good. Um, I did find that I had to use, I couldn't just use isopropyl alcohol. I did have to use the blending solution to really get it to move. But I do like the look of it, especially the gold. That pinata gold was really good. So there is, I mean, and they're a bit less expensive. So I, there is a place for them if you, if you want to use those. So I did let my gesso dry overnight just uh, to be safe and that worked out great. So I'm working the cards and I will have to say I did a bunch, the, the all of them the first round and I didn't like how any of them looked so I let them dry for an hour. Actually, I think I let them dry overnight and then I came back with just using a lot of the alcohol blending solution, not isopropyl alcohol and all of them turned out so much better. I was really happy with all the backgrounds that, and I'll show those later on. Here, I'm just applying an acrylic just to see what would happen. You know, since we're playing, we might as well experiment. And uh, those little acrylics I ordered off of Amazon, and I like them because they're in the, like an eyedropper bottle. So if you wanna make splatters, you can just do one drop. You don't waste any, and then add your water and make your splatters. Here, I actually squirted them with alcohol. To get them to move and they do resist the alcohol inks uh, a little bit not a ton but um, they do last it honestly you can just splatter on when you're done with your creating your card but I just wanted to see what would happen so working this through um, so the reason I was intrigued by this uh, technique was because you bow to get a pack is 10 bucks and you get 10 sheets and they're five by seven. And this pack of 25 sheets of foil, eight and a half by 11, was $5.24. And the gesso was like 375. So it worked, it's, I like the technique. It works well and um, it's much less expensive. You get much more bang for your buck. So here I'm using that pinata gold, loved it. So one thing I did learn that works best with this technique, at least for the pinata inks, uh, if I squirt the alcohol all over the base before I lay the inks down, everything moved so much better. So here I'm squirting again. And so now I'm using a mixative from uh, Ranger and I couldn't get it out. It had dried up on me. So um, this is the next day. And I didn't like how anything looked, so I'm spraying it with the isopropyl alcohol and it got it to move a little bit, not much. Wasn't real happy with it. So I figure out a little later on to use the Ranger uh, alcohol and that changed everything. It got everything to move a little better. What I did was I gave up on the cards too quick and let them dry. I should have kept moving everything. So just coming back in with the Ranger alcohol additive um, solution worked so great. And it's nice that once it dries, you can actually come back in and redo things if you don't like it. I really liked that. So I went and redid 
all of the cards to get them to a place where I liked them. On some of them I had to add more and on some of them like this one had a lot of dark spots because like I said the pinata alcohol inks are a little dark. Um, I just had to blot some off. So working it out and I think I come in yeah and blotting it off and that worked great too and sometimes it left the texture of my paper towel behind which looked really cool. So if you're into mixed media that's a great thing to do as well. So getting it to lighten up, the little blower that I'm using, I got at the dollar store for a dollar. So it says Polaroid on it. It's to clean camera lenses. It worked great. Anything, I mean, the ones that they sell at the stores are seven or eight dollars. They're bigger. Maybe they're a little stronger blowing that I don't know, but this was fine for me. I mean, it, either this or use a straw which there would only have been half a background. I don't have enough air in me to do that. So these are all done. And I like how all of them turned out. I turned most of them into cards, which we will see later. Really happy with all the results of these. So I'm gonna show you how I created one card. Um, and then the others, I'll just explain everything I did at the end. So I'm ink blending using some Catherine Pooler inks. I believe, I'm trying to remember what colors these were. Um, I know it was, I think it was Sweet 16. I can't remember why, I don't know. Uh, oh, and Pixie Dust. There it is, yeah, Sweet 16, Pixie Dust, and then Flirty Fuchsia are the three colors here. I mean, it doesn't have to be a spectacular blend job because I'm cutting the letters out using um, a Concord and Ninth die that I got from summer camp. Which if you can attend, I know it's spendy, but you get a lot of product in that. It's really, it was really fun. I enjoyed it. I didn't, I, it was last year or the year before, I can't remember, but it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. So finishing up the ink blending, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then um, when I'm done with the ink blending, I come in with, to do some speckles, some gold speckles, and I used the gem colors from um, Ta Gonzai Tombi inks. And those are beautiful. I used the uh, purple and the uh, gold. And I think it's called amethyst and then their yellow gold of those. Those colors are so fun and they're so beautiful on black cardstock if you're interested in anything like that. So it even um, was really great for doing the splatters like that. And it didn't sink in and fade. The color stayed really true, which I really appreciate. So coming in just with a little purple as well to get some of the deep purples that'll be in the background of my alcohol ink. And then here's another thing I love about the technique. So I used one of my dirty paper towels, sprayed some of the isopropyl alcohol on there, and then I rubbed off the alcohol ink and the foil came through. And it was the pink foil and it was so pretty. So you've got extra shimmer of the foil. So it looks a little distressed because it's lighter. And then you've got the deepness of the alcohol inks. I will say one thing I did like about Ranger inks was that they had um, shimmer to them. And the Pinata inks, except for the gold, did not have any shimmer. So I really enjoyed that so you can see the foil coming through there. So it's just another way to use the products. So here I'm showing you where I've rubbed off and you can see the foil through the alcohol ink. I really love it. it um, I did it on some. Some of them I like the background so much I didn't want to mess with it. But I did it on some and I really like seeing um, the foil through. So this is the dye I used. I used the Celebrate and the Yay. And so from the background created, I took the letters out, put a little bit of foam tape on the back using the negative or the positive I can't remember which of that is the negative I believe negative space as the pattern to put the letters in so that I get everything right 
and then when I get all the letters in, I will remove it. And then because there's nothing wrong with the negative space, I use that to create an additional card as well. So I think I made like seven or eight cards yesterday. It was, it was fun though. It was nice spending just a crafty afternoon. It was a little bit of a wrestling match getting the background off. So there we have it. Okay, so to finish the cards up for this one, um, I had showed you how I had ink blended the background and then I cut the letters out and then used this background as for placement, used it as the pattern holder. And then, of course, the background was perfectly fine, so I just glued that onto some white con um, cardstock, put the yay over the middle section, and then we used this Studio Katia Gold Crystals to finish everything up. So on this background, I chose not to rub off any of the um, alcohol ink to show the foil underneath. I just really liked how it was with the highs and the lows that it already had. So I stamped Faith from the um, Waffle Flower Faith stamp set and then the sentiment, the sub sentiment is also from that stamp set. I used Daydream Catherine Pooler ink to ink up the cardstock and then the uh, enamel dots are from Concord and Ninth enamel dots. So on this card, I did rub some of the alcohol ink off. There you go, you can see the foil coming through. Uh, I used that same foil to cut the background, and then I cut it out of black cardstock as well and offset it. And that background die is Delicate Butterflies by Memory Box. And this is way back in my stash. This has got to be nine years old uh, for sure. And then the sentiments are from MFT. It's the Hello Beautiful set. Just love the font on that beautiful. And then the sub sentiments are wonderful as well. And then the um, enamel dots, they're kind of a pearlescent. They're called Fairy Gemstones and it's by a company called Open Studio. To finish this card, I used the thank you and it's this thank you from the Waffle Flower Thank You set in Coordinating Dye. The embossing powder I used is this Wow uh, Golden Flame, which uh, is fabulous on gold cardstock, I do have to say. It's got a lot of shine to it, too. And then you can also see spots where I rubbed off the um, alcohol inks to get the gold foil to show through. And I did not do too much embellishing, just the Concord and Ninth little enamel dots around the sentiment to bring it out. Okay, and then for this set, I chose to do just a little bit of the removal so that the foil showed through, just give it a little more shimmer in a couple of places, but not as much on, on the other cards. And then I used another old but wonderful stamp set, and this is from Hero Arts, and it's the Layering Peacock set with coordinating dies. And then I use the Hero Arts Ombre sequins to finish it off. Uh, the sentiment is also from that set. And just kind of showing you, if you have a fancy dinner like I did, maybe this is not the technique you want to do before you go out. But I do love how the cards came out. I don't care that the waitress was staring at my hands. And the final card then, I have the Big Hugs, which was from Concord and Ninth and you get the shadow and the die. I cut it out of the gold card stock that I foiled on as well. So some of the gold you see is from the card stock, some of the gold you see is from the alcohol ink. And then to finish it off, I use the Spellbinders Fashion Gold. Uh, they just call them embellishments, but to me they look like half domes, but whatever you wanna call them. And then there were three backgrounds. I just didn't feel like doing any more cards. Uh, there's this background and I did not that gold is all the alcohol ink I did not uh, rub any off on this on this one I just did it a little haphazard to make it look a little distressed there's some rubbed off here too just a little distressed and I think this backgrounds gorgeous I'll have to figure it out and this one too 
And this is a really old Sizzix embossing folder background, and I really love how that turned out too. So that is the technique I learned from Lydia from Understand Blue, Understanding Blue, Understand Blue, I think is her channel. Uh, I'll have her, like I said before, um, video linked below so you can all watch it. But this is my take on the technique she did. Thanks so much for watching and have a great week.